Today I'm here at the Bama Library located just a few minutes away from Karma High School in Alameda de las Pulgas. Due to its close proximity to not only Karma but the neighboring Ralston Middle School, the library sees an influx of student visitors each and every day. Part of its popularity among the youth is the constant introduction of new educational and innovative technology offered within the library's makerspace. We've had our 3D printers here since about probably 2015. I, I started working here in 2016 and um, this past summer we incorporated a lot of new technology like you mentioned laser cutting, final cutting, photography, music recording, podcasting, robots, um, tablets with digital art applications and that was all based on community feedback. So a while back we issued a survey to our customers that come to our library and we wanted to gauge th what their interests are in making. One Carmont student, senior Gavin Grievous, was able to experience a new technology introduced in the Belmont Library at its early stages. I think it was about 7th or 8th grade. I walked in there and I saw everyone huddled around this new like device on a, you know on this tabletop. And I had asked the librarian dude, I was like, what is this? You know? And he told me it's a 3D printer. And I remember just sitting there kind of puzzled, you know? This was something I'd only been seeing on TV. And to see it in person. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was something else, honestly. The library also utilizes this technology within its space to offer regular workshop sessions and lessons run by volunteers and library staff. Um, so about four times a week, we have drop-in style programming where people can come in, um, visit staff, and in a given session, we may have three or four different technologies available. Do want to recognize that we have plenty of volunteers that help make this happen as well. So on a given day, you may have Today we had a lot of teens from Carlmont doing sewing, working on clothing construction. Um, we have 3D printers running, laser cutting, and digital um, uh, digital art uh, digital art application that people are using via our iPads. So it just differs on on the day and, and what we want to bring out. But we try to keep it um, we try to keep our options fresh and, and circulated so people are doing different things. One of these Carmont students, junior Christopher Zhu, has been able to utilize the library's resources to further his own passions for clothing design. I stumbled upon like the sewing activities in the library because I was like really interested in like trying to make my own clothes and stuff. And I wanted to bring a lot of the designs I was thinking of to life. And so in the beginning, I was just like um, looking for like books to learn like pattern making stuff. And then I think someone told me like there's actually sewing machines that you can use at the library. And also, like I've seen the Maker Fair before, even though it was like new, um, I never went inside. And then when I went inside and started using the tools, I'm like, wow! Like I can do all this for free at the library. I don't have to spend like hundreds of dollars buying my own equipment and stuff. Ever since his initial discovery of the library's resources, Zhu and his friends have become regular visitors of the makerspace. And the library staff have been really supportive, like David Cloud. Um, they've actually asked what we like, what materials we need, and they've actually taken the library budget and used that to support us. So like they bought like like a few yards of jersey fabric for us, knit fabric. They provide like all the machines and everything. And they've adjusted like the times and stuff. They just like they're just really supportive and like helpful in allowing us to like achieve our goals. Cause they know like the library is like supposed to help like teens like us. Like because like we don't have too many resources. The library is supposed to be that place where you get all the resources. Reporting for Scott Center, I'm Ritaro Sato.